Hey, welcome everyone to my uh, music theory lessons on uh, on music reading or sight reading. You know, so this is the first video I'm making, and I'm I'll be making a lot of videos further. So I'll just in this video I'll be breaking down some terminologies, some basic terminologies. So here I have a let's leave this. Here I have a piece. So this this whole thing, okay, this. This is actually one piece, two piece. This call means musical piece. This whole thing is called a musical piece. So means if you, which is named as when we eat. This is the musical piece of when we eat, when we eat this bread. So let's break the, break the basics down. So here, if you see this whole part and this whole part. Okay, here first you see this. You see this thing. This thing is called the the treble clef. Yes, it's the treble clef. So if you want to draw that, it goes like this. Yes, this is the treble clef. So let's break down the second thing. This hash 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 things you see here. This is known as the key. This is key signature. Key signature. Let's name this one and let's put this two. This is the key signature. So basically, you might find some sharp or some symbol like this. Uh, there are many symbols, uh, kind of the number. There may be two sharps here. There are four sharp, four hash, hash. So hash or this is a kind of a inverted B. So there may be, there might be times where uh, th there will be nothing here. So this is. This is kind of not compulsory. It may be there. It might be not there. So there are some situations which we'll talk later in the in the course. Then here we have another. These two are like brothers. They go along. This is known as bass clef. So the bass clef is kind of like this yes and two dots this is the bass clef and this is what yes this is a triple clef these are like brothers <laughs> they go along the next terminology is this this numbers you see here this is the time signature time signature so this this may be kind of numbers kind of four four six eight three four like etc etc they might be numbers so these are some of the basic then we see this you see this line i was just okay you see this line this kind uh, this kind of line which are dividing these are called as these are called as bar lines and you see so they are dividing what so it is like this so you see this thing this whole thing then this whole thing this whole thing this whole thing this kind of this are known as this whole section each each whole section are known as measures they are known as measures so the bar lines divide divide the whole piece into measures each measures then you see all those dots here dots dot 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 they all are known as the notes the notes yes 
So that's all the basic terminologies, the treble clef, the bass clef, the key signature which is not compulsory, the time signature and then we have the measures, measures, the bar, bar lines which divide the measures, the bar lines which are kind of dividing the measures and then we have notes which are placed inside those and you see all those lines these lines are called ledger lines ledger lines ledger lines anything in music if you see this these are all the ledger lines this here you see yeah then so this whole thing this inclusive inclusive of whole thing this whole thing included it forms a musical stuff musical stuff so this whole thing is a stuff that's what is called and the means this including this stuff and together all stuffs form the musical piece so i'll just show you some more examples of uh, of these terminologies which are put in see now there are some this, uh, this looks complicated but see now you know this okay this thing has no no bass clef so i'll search for some bass clef yes here we have this is also when we expect to some other piece <laughs> okay lord of mercy okay we have the bass clef treble clef the time signature see here only one hash is there and this is the key signature sorry the time signature this is the key signature this time signature appears only once actually until it changes here there are two treble clefs okay here there is one bass clef there, are, there might be two treble clefs there might be even three in a kind of uh, in, a, in a big choir setup then you see the measures the bar lines so this whole thing is a staff and it's a musical piece named as gloria see it's a bit long see this in this whole piece you see you don't see the time signature because it is only written once and this is the key signature you see the bass clef treble clef then you take any pieces okay. in some pieces there might be there might be no key signature i'll just give you an example see here here there is no key signature there is nothing here there is nothing no key signature and that is the case which you will learn afterwards it's bass clef treble clef time signature the measures the bar lines and at in ending ending okay this is the bar lines and uh, the notes of course the notes for time just remember those are the notes this is also a big musical piece i think it's a gloria and if you see here this two two lines okay these are called double bar lines let's put the ninth and double bar lines double bar lines simply signify the ending the ending of a piece see here the piece ends if you take another example places okay here here you see at the start of piece you see this time signature and the key signature i told you time signature appears usually in the first first measure uh, first uh, this thing only and it, it doesn't appear in the following uh, following uh, staff and all and here you see double ledger lines that means it's getting ending here this piece ends here so that's all uh, the basic of music some music reading and let me tell you one more interesting thing. Now, have you heard the word treble and bass before? You see, treble. Let's see the meaning of treble. 
so treble means anything which is of high frequency okay you, you see this treble pertaining to the highest singing voice okay so basically a woman's voice is treble so this is the treble clef so do you get this that this is the treble means this is the part of the of the high singers high note singers usually kind of uh, usually women have uh, women and girls have uh, high high note high a uh, capability of singing high notes so this is their part and this you now see the antonym of treble is bass okay what is the bass a bass bass is a low in pitch low frequency so my my voice is bass as you can hear it <laughs> too bass so bass is the part which the a man is man usually manage to sing usually guy even girls can sing no problem with that and with but it should be of low frequency so this is a bass this is a treble clef there might be two or three treble clef because there might be two or more singers that's why so you see there are notes in treble and there are notes there and there are notes in bass so music music is the harmonization what is harmony you know what is harmony so harmony is when two or more things take place in a coordinate coordinated manner so when this two coordinate with each other the bass and the treble it creates harmony so music is the harmonization of notes now this is a kind of definition which a short definition <laughs> so music is the harmonization of notes it is simple okay music is the art you can also put art of harmonizing notes each every art involves harmonization like if you want to master something you need to good in harmonizing each and every elements of that art so music is harmonization of notes in the following videos so we'll learn what are the notes how to harmonize and there are many many other things so this you can keep it for reference some terminologies i hope it's clear if you have any doubt please put it in the comments and thank you for watching